From paying bills to consuming the news and connecting with your community, accessing the internet can seem like a necessity. However, it is still considered a luxury in most parts of the country. As our Kate Robinson tells us, not every student has those resources available after leaving the classroom and it could cost them in the long run. The internet is used as a form of connection, but in today's media-centric society, not having access to the internet can be embarrassing, causing both social and learning gaps among kids. One, they're going to get behind, right? They're, they're going to get behind in their learning. They're not going to have the same access or the same uh, expectation when they go back to the classroom. I think also there there's a social aspect of it, right? So if a kid's behind and because they couldn't get their homework done, that's an embarrassing thing to tell your teacher. Unfortunately, 22% of Americans in rural areas, including 28% of Americans on tribal lands, lack coverage. This causes issues for students when it comes to learning from home or snow days. Connecting to the teachers and making sure that that is an option is there. And we just want every student, whether you, it shouldn't matter whether you live in a rural city or an urban city, you should have the same education process that everyone gets. The internet is used to submit homework, talk to teachers and tutors, and connect with friends after school. During the day, students have access to computers. Living in rural areas can make these resources scarce, but the Rapid City Public Library is one place kids can go to find free internet access. Kids that don't have access to Wi-Fi or internet outside of school uh, do not have the same resources to be able to search for things, uh, to complete their homework. Um, you know, you cannot apply for a job or college without a computer. And so providing this access is essential for the advancement of teens as they become adults. If you are struggling to afford internet, reach out to your internet provider to see if you qualify for the Affordable Connectivity Program. Reporting in Rapid City, I'm Kate Robinson.